Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're still still clearing out camps here around Telmberg. I'm not going to put you through any more camp clearouts. Uh, I will let you know what we find in them if we have something important. Um, the last few episodes have been a lot of camp clearouts. It's basically the same thing over and over. We go up there, we try to clear them out. We die two or three times, we come back. We finally su succeed. Uh, steal a little bit of armor, and then we go off to the next one. So, from now on, unless it's uh, something really interesting, uh, no more camp clearouts. And, um, unless it's part of a quest or something like that. Uh, a, a good quest. So, I'm going to go ahead and clear out this one last camp we have. And once we get done, and they're, they're still bombarding over there. Uh, once we get done, we should be close to the time that we can actually lay siege on Telmberg. I know I've been saying that every single episode for like the past eight episodes. Uh, by the way... Go back and watch all those if you want, so you can kind of see what's going on. But we should be really, really close to getting this quest finished and finalized, I hope. Um, and, I, and I really, really want to start looking for treasures. I think that'd be uh, a fun episode to go out and explore. Uh, look for some treasure chests for a little while. Uh, don't know when we'll start doing that. As soon as the siege is over with, we will get to that. There's a abandoned house up there. I'm sure I've probably already been to that. Anyway, we're heading to sea right now to get this next camp taken care of. Um, like I said, I won't put you guys through that. I'm going to go up here and take care of these guys real fast. Uh, clean house. And uh, hopefully, uh, we'll get this done pretty quick. And uh, the next time I see you guys, we'll have something a little interesting to see. So, I will see you guys in a bit. If I find anything really cool, I will show you. If not, I will see you guys when we're finished. Well, that camp was easy. I took them guys out in like five minutes. Uh, first try, so that doesn't happen very often. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Actually, you know what? We're not even gonna do that. We're just gonna go ahead and grab, uh, jump on uh, Elmer here and head back and there he is. Head back and tell him we have taken out all the camps in the surrounding area and uh, see what we gotta do next. I think we still are, are like a day out from being able to actually siege, but uh, we'll see. There's a house up here. We might might as well go ahead and look at that real fast. See if there's anything there that. Thought I heard somebody. Let's see if there's anywhere, anyone up here, or anything up here we can actually look at. <laughs> Sir Divish just knocked him out with his fist. Holy crap. Where is everyone? Whoa, Where? what? What are you guys? Why are you guys trying to attack me? I haven't done anything. Calm down. That's crazy. This guy runs into the camp because I couldn't kill him, so I had him follow me to the camp. Freak. The this guy, hell? Divish, man, he just lays him out. Raise Good God. Watch out. Hey, all of you, gather you here. Raise the alarm. Oh, he's still alive. To arms. Get over here. What's the answer to my prayers? Over here. Just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone. Look at him. 
Watch him, man. They are just look. He's running. He's going. He's like, nope. I'm out of here. <laughs> They're all gonna go chasing after him into the woods. Oh yeah, you got him in the back. Good job. This is awesome. Look at Divish go. Divish is a golly. Divish is golly, man. Divish. Did they kill him? Divish is an absolute beast. I guess they killed him. Ha! Huh. That's awesome. I'm gonna steal his helmet. And these two. Whoa. And that. And the Groshen. Uh, anything else? We got spurs. Nice. I don't think I've had spurs yet. Okay. Got some good things off him. Let's go ahead and add that stuff to our... Our person. So these pauldrons probably much better than the ones we have. Actually, they're not. We'll sell those. Cute. The captain's helmet, we need to keep that. Or actually, we'll probably end up selling that too at some point. Um, this one. Is this one better than ours? It's not. Old boots, we don't know. Nope. Nope. Uh, silver spurs, though, we do not have. So we'll put those on. Oh, man. Wow. Okay, let's, turn, let's go ahead and talk to uh, Sir Divish here. That was interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, Robard. I found all the camps. I found all of their campsites. The rest of the woods are clear. That's a relief. Now let's relieve ourselves of this accursed talk. Yes, let's. Got 655 Groshen. Is it time yet? I'm here. I don't think it is. Can't you see we're still bombarding? No, yeah. I don't think, um, we should have like a whole nother day. Uh, what can we do in the meantime? I wonder if we have any treasures. Oops. Any treasures that's right around the area that we're in. Let's go ahead and look and see what we have here. We've got quite a few treasure chest or treasure maps. We've got map number two. Which is one of these I think we've already got. Okay, this is down near Rote. Map number three. Grave site. Um, north of Uzitz. Five. That looks like it might be around Rattai as well. We've got a bunch more down here at the bottom. I don't know why they're all separated. Number three is the same one we've already looked at. Oh, no, this is a different one. Wait a minute. Treasure map three. Oh, that's ancient map. Okay, so they are different. Treasure maps and ancient maps. Interesting. The ancient maps might be the ones we actually want to look for. Treasure map number three, monastery, Sasau. Uh, treasure map number five or four. Just east of Letacheco. Most of them are down south, it looks like. This one's not far from Rattai. Do we have any near, near Townburg at all? Neuhoff and Rattai. Jeez. Neuhoff and Rattai. What the heck, man? Scallets. That one's north of Scallets. That one we could actually find. I might go looking for this one. Let's go looking for the one north of Scallets. So let's look at the map here. Um, so it looks like if you look at the map, I bet you it's right up here. Let's travel to Scallets. I wonder if it's going to be dark when we get there. Yeah, it looks like it will be. So we'll travel to Scallets and we'll probably find a place to camp and go ahead and uh, and sleep through the night. We haven't been to hardly any of these woods up here either. There's a lot of room to explore up here in Scallets. Oh, there's people up here. That's interesting. I wonder why. Oh, well, maybe not. Alright, let's see if we can go ahead and find a place to camp for the night real fast. I don't know if we'll find anything out here or not. Maybe we can find a bed in one of these houses. If we can even get into one of them. I bet they're all trashed inside. Uh, let's pull out a torch here. You just need to find a bed. All 
All right, I'm going to try to find a bed. And uh, whenever I do and it becomes morning, I will be back then. If I can even find one. We may not ever find one out here, honestly. Well, we did find a way into the actual courtyard. Well, what's going on here? I don't think I didn't realize we would run into people. Don't do not do that. I kind of watch them see what they're doing. Obviously, they're fighting. This looks like it's humans versus someone else, but I'm not sure who's fighting who here. Oh, well. Oh, somebody's... Who are these people? Let's save and confront them and see what happens. Hello, gents. Who's there? It is I. What? Well, uh, yep. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Who's there? Who are these people? I wonder. Are they just? They don't look like regular bandits. They definitely look like people who would hurt us. Yeah, we're probably gonna die here again. Did not realize these people would be here. Interesting. They must be raiding the place. Is that all right? Ah. Ah. Well, I hate fighting multiple people at once. Shit! Bring it on. Oh, there's four. Ah. <sighs> Alright, so I'm gonna load the old game up. I don't wanna deal with these guys. And we'll just act like we didn't even see them. We'll try to sneak around them or something. Um, I can't beat them anyway. So there's no point in even trying. I'm just going to fight forever and then die. Um, let's sneak. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's sneak. I just want to find a place to bed down. I don't think I'll find a place in here anyway, but you never know. Okay, this is the old tavern right here, I think. No, we can't really see anything. It's pretty dark. But maybe we'll get lucky and find a bed in here somewhere. Up here. What? So here's the castle. Can we actually get into the castle? Looks like we actually can, which is surprising. Well, Maybe not the castle itself. Here is my fake dad's old blacksmith shop. Doesn't appear we have any chests around here anywhere. And then the old home site. There may be a bed in here. This place doesn't look terribly torn up. Uh, although, it kind of does in here, doesn't it? What have we got in here? Anything? Nope. Yeah, it's been pretty, pretty roughed up, unfortunately. And of course, here's where my mother and father's buried. Where exactly? Is a place to lay down and sleep. I don't want to search for this treasure at night. 
All right, let's look at the map real fast again. So I think we need to go north up through here. Um, if we look at the actual treasure map, which would be, I think it was uh, the very last one. Yeah, north of Scallets. Looks like there's a constellation cross, so the trail goes north east. And we should be up in this area somewhere. We haven't been up there yet, so it's going to be completely new territory for us. If we can actually get out of here without running into those guys again, we should be able to sneak around the same way we got in. Or maybe, maybe we can, oops, maybe we can just get out right here somewhere. Looks like the cabbage is growing nicely, even though nobody's here to tend to it. Be able to head out. Uh, right around here somewhere. Right here. Okay, so we travel northeast up the road. This road here. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop and wait until morning. Just so you guys can see because you can't see anything at dark. I know that. I'll be tired, but that's fine. Maybe we'll find that old house we can we can take a nap in or something. All right, well, we can see. We can put our torch away now. Great. So let's see where we're at. We're uncovering clouds. Okay, good. Right here is the, it looks like the spot on the actual map. Sun's coming up. It's going to be a beautiful day. No rain. That's nice. Here is the old house in the map, I believe. Watch this house. It's probably got a bed in it, too. Does anybody actually live here? It's just a barn. It doesn't look like anything in it. So according to the map, we find the crossroads in the old house. And it should be right up in here, I believe. Um, we need to go investigate this area as well. Let me see here. I wish there was a way we could keep on pulling this same map up. Okay, there's the house. Yeah, straight north. Straight north from the house. House, straight north. So right up this way. Constellation cross or shrine. There should be a cross up here somewhere. And that's where the treasure is buried. I imagine it would be on the other side of these weeds. Out of sight from the main road. Yeah. Maybe. Or, or up on top of this hill. Be a good spot for it. Oh, we found an interesting site. Did we find it? I hope so. Some of these are kind of hard to find. This one's a bit easier. Uh, I'm guessing that there's a, a tunnel that goes into this hill somewhere. Maybe. Well, maybe not. There's some reason there's a hill here. But why? It's hiding something. It's gotta be. I don't see anything. Is there a place we can dig on top of it, maybe? I don't see any chest or anything. Gosh, it's got to be right here, though. There's, there's no way that this isn't it. But where would it be? Dang, I hate this. This hard to find. I 
I mean, it's kind of nice that they make them hard to find. At the same time... I hate spending a long time looking around, you know? I'm trying to look in all the weeds and make sure they didn't hide it somewhere in the, in the brush. Aha! Uh -huh, I think I found it. So there's a grave over here. I believe this is it. I don't know if I have a shovel with me or not. Maybe I do. I don't have a shovel. Oh no, does a horse have a shovel? Please tell me a horse has got a shovel. I usually keep one on him. Okay, good. I hate digging up a grave, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. What's he got? 271 Groshen. Oh! Longinus Sword. Whatever that is. Lucky Playing Die. Nice. Noble Shoes. Recipe for Padfoot Potion. Shadow Play. Silver Ring. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I'll take all that. Uh, this sword is better than ours, I believe. Uh, we're using Duelist. So yeah, it's definitely a little better, th better than ours. So we'll take that. Uh, we need to equip our shield again. Um... We also got, what else do we get? We got something else here. Noble shoes. Those are nice. We'll take those. Instead of the old boots and a silver ring. Very good. And a little bit of Groshen, so not a bad little haul there. Okay, so we still have one day to wait before they're completely done. We've got something up here. It looks like, uh, okay, it's just woods. Let's go to... We've got a little bit of map on, uh, around the top we can uncover. I'll say Pribus, Pribus, Prab, Prabuslavitz is over here as well. So we're going to go this way. Try to uncover this map up here in the woods and just kind of look around. So that treasure map is done. We're going to move that one to the horse. All the ones we've completed will move to the horse. That one we can actually move back to ourself. And this one as well. And uh, we completed, which one was it, treasure map, was it this one, nope, one under that, this one, nope, <laughs> this one, this is the one we completed, okay, so let's move this into the horse, there we go, so we know we've got that and done. Don't have to worry about it again. We're just going to kind of explore the rest of this episode through the woods here. Just walk around and see what we can find. Uh, we might we might can find something interesting. Let's go ahead and grab Elmer because we can get a little bit higher on him. Let's see a little further out. We're just going to kind of look around here. See if we run into anything. Don't know if there will be any camps out here or anything. I, I don't think there will be. I'm mainly looking for interesting sites old houses things like that Let's see if we can find any, any more treasure uh, I want to find the rest of the warhorse armor I can't at some just point. everything and leave so let's head down here there's a road going down here oh here's something a totem pole I wonder what these are for why are they even here? There's got to be something going... Oh. Say, there's got to be something going on with those totem poles that I don't know about. This actually has... Oh, check that out. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. Nobleman's boots, again. Recipe for preserve, unpopular die. Quartered combat jacket and a necklace. We are finding some good stuff in this episode. Uh, quartered combat jacket. Where's that replace? Nothing. Oh, nice. So we've got a full kit of a full kit here, and that looks good on us too. Uh, also, a necklace that we can wear, which we also don't have. It's a nice necklace. We are kitted out to the extreme. 
Very good. Thank you, guys. Sorry you, you, you're dead. <laughs> that sucks. We're overloaded, so we definitely need to, at some point, go sell some things. Okay, so far, episode's pretty good. Finding a lot of things, which is what I wanted. That's probably another, another treasure map quest, maybe. Or, uh, yeah, another treasure map thing right there, but... If we can find them, we will. So let's go to Private's Lab and see if there's anybody over here. Because I've been wanting to come here and investigate this area as well. I don't think this is it. I think this is just a little house. We're going to kind of look around here too. Pretty nice little homestead they got here. I don't know what this is. is someone there? Yeah, someone's here. How are you doing? Pretty girl. A villager. May the Lord watch over you, Henry. You as well. Oh, she knows who I am. Nice. Okay, you're just a villager too. I'm in a private area, but I'm too worried about that. What do you guys have that I can look at? Oh, uh oh. Apologies, ma'am. Excuse me. I will. Excuse me. Yes, run out and tell your husband. Okay, they got another one here. I doubt they have anything of any real value. What? Alright, let's head back down into the woods. Covered that. We got the interesting site there. Let's follow this uh, this river up here around behind Pravo Pravo's It's yeah. All right. Let's go in here and see what we've got going on. If anything, it was just a poacher, so probably not a whole lot going on in here. But you never know. Uh, sword, Sioux, village dogwood bow, and cobwebs. I'm gonna take the cobweb. I don't know what it does. There's a reason that we have that option, so I'm assuming we can use it for something. I wish I could find some... Oh, we can sleep and save here. Nice. I wish we could find some actual raven feathers. That'd be nice. Hey, we've improved stealth. Nice. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get out of here. Hey, bunny. I can't uh, leave now. We're not still leaving. still have obligations here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Just want to... Want to look around? That's all. See what we see. Woods are pretty thick up in this area. I know there's got to be some stuff up here. There's three big trees now. Generally, in the real world, if you see big trees like that, which there's big trees everywhere out here, but if you see, if you're in the woods and you see like big trees like that, and the rest of the trees around them are small, those trees are probably planted by someone. And most of the time, there at one point was an old house there, right in the middle of the trees. They, they planted the trees, or used the trees, uh, to block the, the cold wind from blowing in from the north. They're in the south. That way their house will stay warmer during the winter. Um, so, I, you know, I've mentioned before in, in some of my other videos that I like to go out and metal detect and stuff like that. Uh, especially old home sites. It's a lot of fun. You'll find all kinds of things that people have dropped over the years. Uh, so you learn little things here and there about kind of uh, what to look for. You can go out in the spring and find, you know, just random flowers growing in the woods. And usually that's because somebody planted them there, almost always. And uh, generally, somebody planted them there probably, you know, 100, 150 years ago. It's, it's pretty interesting to be able to see something that no one has seen or really recognizes probably in the last hundred years and it's really really fascinating to find something that you know somebody dropped 200 years ago that nobody has seen it or touched it since then um, it's really really cool so so a little indention underground here I thought maybe there was a cave there but it doesn't look like it I we'll probably won't be able to go over this crest oh well maybe we can 
just your typical stroll in the woods here. So where are we at on the map? We actually could probably go up a little higher. We're, we're just north of Pravis Levitz. I don't really see anything too fascinating. I was hoping we'd seen like an old house maybe out in the distance. But uh I don't I don't see nothing. Can't jump because we're too fat. I do want to go back to Private Slavitz and I mean I know I'm probably butchering that. We may do that here in just a second. This episode's getting pretty long. It's already ran over an hour. I've got to cut a lot out of it, but um we'll have to end it shortly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of venture through the woods. And uh, if I find anything interesting, I'll show you. I hear a dog barking over this way, which is interesting as well. Here's something fascinating. Check this out. We've got a... Uh, Got a dead deer here. Some kind of little shrine. We could sleep if we wanted. Nothing in there. I don't know what this is, but. Hmm. I almost want to sleep on this just to see if anything happens, but we're not going to. Okay, we've made it to Pravis Levitz. So, I don't know how much we can do here. There may be people still here, um, but we're going to walk in here and find out. And just see if we can look around. I didn't really give it a good look around when we were first here. So, we had a pretty big battle here, actually. Um, so I do want to look around and see if there's any treasure, if we can. Like I said, there may still be people here, and if there is, we don't really feel like fighting people. So, if there's people here, we're probably just going to leave. So far, though, it doesn't look like, uh, I don't really see anybody. I see tents. But it looks like it's pretty vacant. Which is a good thing. That means we can go around and look and see if we can find any money or anything like that. I know, for a fact, there's got to be, uh... There's got to be some stuff around here we can steal and make money off of. Chests that we can unlock and open and stuff like that. So, let's get to work. Um, I'll, I'll go around. If I find anything special, I will show you. If not, I'm just going to be kind of going around uh, unlocking chests and looking for things. We've got some poison here we'll take. I don't know how much we'll actually find, if we'll even find anything really worth anything, but I don't see any any dead bodies at all, which is uh, kind of strange because we killed a lot of people here. Check this out. Oh, this is a cistern. And what a cistern is, is just where a place where rainwater collects where you can go in there and get water if you live in the area. It's pretty interesting, though, that they actually have those here. I guess that's what it is. That or it's just a cellar hole that uh, is filled up with water because it's raining. But if I had to guess, I'd say cistern, probably. Alright, we've looked at everything except for what's in the actual tower. So I'm going to go up here next and see what we see. I, want, I do want to look in this little house here, if, if we can get in there to it. Uh, it doesn't look like we can. Let's go look and see what's in this tower. I haven't really found anything. I found a lot of poison. A lot of poison. Or actually, this is like a chapel, isn't it? Uh, a lot of poison up here. Lots of things that I could sell if I really wanted to. But uh, that's about it. Really not a whole lot else. 
I thought maybe we might find a treasure chest in here, but it doesn't look like it. Go ahead and climb this ladder and see what we got up here. If anything. Yeah, it doesn't look like we've got anything. There's probably, yep, see there's a way to get in here if we wanted to. Um, let's go back the way we came. We, can we get back in there? Oh, come on. There we go. We're going to go back up top where we fought that one guy. Shot him in the head with an arrow, I believe. Killed him dead. And, uh, and then we'll pretty much have explored this, this whole place here. Uh, really upset that there's not more here to look at. I thought that we would find, um, some money around, but not really surprising. It does look like there's a chest here. It's an easy lockpick, so there's probably not much in it, but you never know. We'll look at it anyway. Nothing in it, actually. I've probably already opened that. It's, well, no, 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 couldn't have opened it. If I had of it wouldn't be locked. We're nearly to the top here. Got some cabbage. It's still good somehow. Stuff keeps forever. And now we're at the top. And we had a had a little bit of a fight up here. I said we just shot the guy right in the face with an arrow. Wasn't very hard actually. That's like episode. I don't know. It's one of the really early ones. Yep, not much going on. That's about it for Pravis Levitz. Uh, I don't think we can get in that place over there. Interesting little town. Probably really nice at one time, but no more. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Not a lot of excitement, but a lot of exploration. And found some pretty cool things as well. Um, I'll try to cut it down as much as possible. Next episode, we're going to travel back to Townburg, sleep it off, and start the siege. I promise you, next episode, we'll start the siege unless they make us go do something else. Uh, I will see you guys then. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. Help me out a ton. And I will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.